Growing up, I did not like Seattle and wanted to leave the first chance that I got, which is what I did. The second I graduated high school, I left for California. This is a common storyline for many Seattleites who are sick of the rain. So I lived in Los Angeles for four years and actually didn't like it. Actually realized what an amazing place Seattle is. So even though I did grow up in Washington state around the Seattle area, I feel like I have kind of a unique perspective because I feel like someone that's from here, but I also sometimes feel like a transplant because I spent my first four adult years forming my friendships and relationships in a different state. And so when I made the decision to actually come back to Seattle, it felt like a scary jump for me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I had the same feelings that you might be having. I was afraid of the Seattle freeze and that it was gonna be really hard for me to make any friends. I didn't really have much of a social network left. And I was afraid that I was gonna hate the rain and it was gonna beat me down. But four years later, is it now? I'm still here, I'm loving it. I, I don't think I ever want to leave. But at the end of the day, it is kind of like my roots. It is home for me. So I'm not really a transplant. So I just find it so fascinating. People that come from other states that, you know, don't have family here or roots here and dream of living in Seattle. So today I decided I would sit down with some Seattle transplants and just have a conversation with them about why they move. So these friends of mine are from all different states around the US. First, we've got Rachel, who is from Wisconsin, and I found her YouTube channel actually when I was thinking about wanting to move back to Seattle, but I was kind of scared and I felt like I was living vicariously through her. You know, she shows the good and the bad. Next we have Kelly and she moved a couple of years ago from California, which I just think is crazy to move from the sun and your family in the sun to the rain. I also really enjoy watching her videos and she works at Amazon, so she brings that perspective of working in tech. And lastly, we have Tyler, who is from Hawaii. Of course, everyone should just be jealous of Tyler. I mean, being from Hawaii, for real, dude, why'd you, why, why'd you leave? But Tyler's super cool because he's lived in a lot of cool cities in the US. He's lived in Boston, he's lived in Austin, and now he decided, after only six months of living here during the pandemic, to buy a house. So me and the team recently helped Tyler buy a house, which is how I met him. And he works at a startup. What made you want to move to Seattle? It was mostly intuitive. I had never been here, I had just graduated college, and two weeks after I graduated, I kind of just packed up my car and moved. Okay, so we're on our way to Seattle right now. My husband and I are originally from California, and we both wanted to move somewhere, but not like too far away from California. Got our U-Haul. And we're gonna move today! So I was looking for kind of a change in life and I like felt like I wanted to kind of settle down somewhere and be somewhere for a little bit longer. Portland was definitely one of them and Colorado, anywhere, Denver, Boulder, like anywhere in Colorado. But Seattle kind of just made the list. Seattle, Portland, NorCal, that was like all an option for us because it was still on the West Coast, but yeah. Seattle with just like all the nature around here nearby, that was like something that definitely drew us. I've actually moved around a lot. I've lived in a few different places and every year it's only been like two years, but I really wanted somewhere that I like could settle down in. And I felt like Seattle has that option to do. What's it like finding a job in Seattle? It's tricky. I mean, it's definitely changed a lot too because the pandemic kind of put a stop to things. But when I first moved here, it was kind of just like, get a job that you want and go. And it, it was easy, it was quick. My company is called Tool Design Group and we're like a planning and design firm. And our big thing is designing bike lanes and kind of making streets better for people. Working at Amazon. Yes. The like biggest employer here. <laughs> What's it like? Do you like it? I love it, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I love my team, I love what we're working on, yeah. and like, my manager's really great too, so yeah, having a good time. And just like being able to live in this beautiful city and work in this beautiful city, I think mm -hmm. is another really great perk too. So a big one that we're doing is uh, Pike and Pine. They're gonna do like a whole reconstruction of the street, so it's gonna be like this whole, like premium thing. And then I think once the pandemic happened, it, it got a lot harder just because mm -hmm. A lot of jobs are remote now, so you're not just competing for a job within Seattle, you're competing with the whole world with a job. Do you think the Seattle freeze is real? Oh yeah. 
I feel like when I moved here, like there was that warning like, oh, like you'll never make friends here. It'll just be so hard to like meet anyone. I feel like making friends was really difficult. And that happens just even if you're coming out of college, you're like, oh, it's like time to adults. Like how do I make friends not be in dorms or parties? And I mean, it helped that we already knew people who lived here. So we like met friends through them. When I first moved here, I just felt like I got ghosted. I got like, yeah. it's just, it's a different vibe. Uh, but otherwise, like I haven't really done a good job of like reaching out and making friends on my own. There's so many people here that are also transplants that also understand that. And I think it's, to me, it's been one of those things whenever I move, it's like, if you find something that you enjoy doing, you'll find people that want to make friends doing that thing. So for me, that's been like running and biking. Yeah. Uh, there are people that I've met like at work, but I haven't really like hung out with them outside of work yet. Like being from here, I feel like it is just instilled in me to want to make plans and then be like, so <laughs> why? Bad. Why is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I it's like I have a running group and we meet like every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Like there's all these options yeah. and like it feels like like we're getting close and then we'll go out to dinner afterwards and stuff like that so like it's just like you build this connection slowly but like it's kind of program time that's like there seattle definitely isn't the friendliest city no not even on the top 10 mm -hmm. not even close I would yeah say. how long could you see yourself in seattle a long time originally the plan was like okay we'll be there for like a couple of years oh man i don't know every couple months i'm like oh i would love to try this place out or that but i'm still here yeah. um i see myself living here for like five to ten years the longer that we're here the more i like it and i feel like there just is so much more to explore that yeah. i feel like just a couple more years like won't do it I love Seattle. Like yeah. at first it was kind of like a love-hate relationship with it, but I've really like grown to love it. And I love, I actually love the people for the most part and the culture here, but I don't know. I still feel like I'm young enough to want to, to want to like travel and try other places out. I'm 28 now and I was like, I could start a family here and then maybe move back to Hawaii. Rapid fire. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Favorite restaurant. Uh, sisters and brothers. <laughs> Cactus. Uh, K Dai Makan. It's like this Malaysian place. Broadcast. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Victrola? Coffee? I can stop at any boba place and be like happy. Green Lake. I like Pier 62. Does that count as a park? Gasworks Park. No, 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 no. Gasworks Park, 100%. I like Green Lake. Ooh, favorite bar? Probably Capital Cider. I like Union. I really liked M Bar, with a view of South Lake Union. Maybe Vashon Island. Uh, riding the ferry is like this plus where you're like, I got a boat trip and like an adventure trip. Probably like the Kla Elam area with like all those lakes over there. Favorite building. What out there is there a favorite? Um, I mean, I really like Day One. That's Amazon. Or no, I love the spheres. Ooh, what a great question. Um, I am a huge fan of the Smith Tower. The Pacific Medical Building is like right by my house. And that one has like really like, I feel like you can get really good views of like Mount Rainier and that building together. And it's like this nice orange one. I feel like it's weird to like a hospital, but. Oh, initially I thought Cary Park was overrated. What? Yeah, I know. I want to say that like, the like space needle views are overrated but like they're not <laughs> and every time i see it i'm like oh my god i live in seattle it's so great yeah. maybe it's coffee <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. do your research and instead of finding places to live in seattle find the neighborhoods you want to live in okay. because that's kind of how the city works okay yeah don't, you don't just, just get a cool apartment. yeah you don't just want to live in seattle you want to live in like a good neighborhood in Seattle. Definitely come and visit if you haven't already. I feel like watch your videos. Those were really helpful for me as uh, someone that couldn't like travel here uh, during the pandemic. So research neighborhoods and zip codes. Let me see, which they can find by watching your videos. Some of them, yeah, I think so, yeah. If you know anyone in the city, kind of like follow them around, like check out the local spots, because I feel like that's something that helped us. Being comfortable like reconnecting with friends that I hadn't seen in a while and just like being okay to like reach out to them and be like, hey, I moved to Seattle. Do you to hang out and like nine times out of ten it's been like a really great experience because we like visited one of our friends who lives here so we kind of like got to see what it was like to live here you know um aka watch her video <laughs> and do all the things she does i don't know i feel like be comfortable getting a roommate i feel like it's another thing it's like it was great to have a roommate here and have that built in like 
as like a built-in friend 24-7 kind of thing. Like get someone to get dinner with, someone to like go do something with, so. After talking to them, I, I didn't really realize how many people romanticize the gloom and how cozy it is and the coffee and I guess Seattle has a vibe that people get really excited for. So do what you will with all of that advice. I hope it helps you if you're considering moving to Seattle and if you are, definitely subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.